Good blessed afternoon, everybody. We're here today because uh, a lot of stuff happens in our communities and in our societies every single day. And just like it happens some days, some of us are affected more than others. And sometimes people just don't give a hoot. But what happened yesterday again brings back to light what's been happening and what happened, what, about 10 years ago today at Katie Hawk, or I don't know if that's the right name of the school, where children were massacred. Well, every day children are massacred in women's wombs, in people's houses, by the father, by the stepfather, by the mother, the stepmother. And society's really good already because society's immune to all of this at suppressing it, at hiding it, at oppressing it. We are in the in, in evil days. We are in the end of times. But like the Bible says, the most holy Bible says, there will be birthing pangs. And we're going through that. So it's not like the world's going to end tomorrow. For nobody knows, for Jesus said, nobody knows the hour or the time. Only his father does. Even the son of God doesn't. But yet he went to the cross and he voluntarily hung himself on a tree for our sins and for our salvation. And he said, I do not leave you nor forsake you, but I leave someone stronger in you who will live in you to lead you, guide you, counsel you, and advocate for you. And to all the mothers out there, to all the fathers out there, excuse me, but more to the mothers, to the abuelitas, to the grandmothers, to the nannies, to the nanas. Today I say, I've had enough for years. I've had enough for years. And that's why I put these videos out that sometimes people will call me and say, I didn't say this exactly right in Spanish, the ones that I say in Spanish, or, you know, I wasn't political correct. Ask all you politically correct people when you watch this video. Because this politically correct bullshit is what's gotten us into this. There's a left, a right, and there's an in-between, and there's a liberals. Well, you know what? There's one Lord and Savior, and that's Jesus Christ. And nobody's calling on Jesus Christ. Even yesterday, President Biden, when he spoke, he talks about God. How many gods is there? There's Mother Earth. There's all these other gods, but there's only one living God, Jesus Christ. And today I'm here to tell you, I'm inviting you. Look, man, I put on my warring outfit. This is a suit that I wear when I feel like I'm in a battle mode or I'm going to go give a heavy duty presentation because I got to get my point across. I'm working today because I still work at the age of 66, but we're battling something big here that we shouldn't even have to battle. It's not about gun control. It's not about politics. It's about the spiritual mismanagement of America. Please listen to this. The spiritual mismanagement of America. Please listen to this for the third time. The spiritual mismanagement of America. Yeah, the spiritual mismanagement of America. Why? Because the pulpit. Let's get real. There's churches who transfer their priests and their pastors from church to church and hide stuff. And then bones come up of people, of children that have been martyred, that have been abused years later. The Pentecostal church yesterday was on the news. Later on, there'll be another one. It's not about where you go to worship. It's about what you carry in your heart. It's about what you carry in your mind, what you carry in your soul, your gut, your sixth sense, your Holy Spirit. And it's the blood of Jesus that covers us. You know, some of you have X protection from this insurance carrier for your home. Others have a different one for the cards and some for the health and some for Medicare. But what we all need today, we need the blood of Jesus protection. Look, I'm standing up here and some of you like me and some of you don't and some of you criticize me. And you know what? If you can do a better job, I challenge you, go do it. Do it, do it and send it to me because I'll watch you. But you know what? All of us are guilty right now of letting our game down. You know what? They have all these security guards. Watch. What happened at the St. Mark's Center? There was how many police out there? Probably a hundred. And the guy still was up there. And he ended up doing one sp stupid move. And that's how he got caught. I applaud the police officers. We need them. We need them. And we need to support them. But look. Look. 
One guy had a standoff of how many police officers. One guy killed how many children yesterday. One guy did the shooting in New York. One guy did the shooting 10 years ago. One guy did X shooting years ago. And then at the end of the day, one man, one savior, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am. Help us by hanging on the cross. And what are we doing daily? You know, on, on Facebook, you see where people put what they're drinking, what they're eating, where they went to dance, what they're having a wonderful time. Those same damn hypocrites, all of you hypocrites, all of you, I don't care. And I don't care if you all take remove me as a friend. I removed 300 people off my book the other day, Facebook the other day, because there's no response. They're just stalkers. They're watching what other people write and read and doing whatnot. I can tell you this right now. We don't need a thousand people. We need a few people. I invite you. I invite you. Moms, grandmas, nannies, nanas, aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers. If you're really concerned, quit putting on there your fat old belly on Facebook drinking a beer. Guys, come on. That's old. Like they say, old school. You're older than old school, man. You're ancient. You know the ladies who put on Bring Sexy Back, man. Put the long cuts back. What that means, put all the fat away, you know. That's just, long cuts means all the fat, all the bulges, you know. We got to grow up. Our nation has to grow up. Our nation lost a lot of its integrity. And integrity means our character and who we were. When all these flower childs of the 60s and the early 70s, free love, free this, free that, free drugs. Well, look where all of that freedom got us. I, I, I believe in rights for women equal to men why because the bible talks about it but not maybe these watered down versions but the torah does because adam and eve were created equal one provides a seed and the other one carries it so we procreate we were here for procreation and equality without a woman in a, with this a man's seed in her <clears throat> she can't procreate so we're here to, to honor and respect and cherish each other and to worship our god but we have an intercessor, Jesus Christ. We're not using him. We're not using him. Some of you have beautiful Jesus pictures in your home. Some of you have big old medallias, bigger than anything that you wear or anchors or whatever you call them, or you have them on your car. Jesus isn't an emblem. I wear him here close to my heart just because it strikes a conversation and allows me to pray with people. But Jesus is implanted in our mind body spirit heart and soul the seed of the soul is our mind and we need to activate it and we need to get active look we need to get flyers out to the schools for the summer school we need to get flyers out to the shopping centers we need to talk to the stores we need to go to the stores and pray in the in the lounge rooms the coffee rooms i don't i've never really had like those kind of jobs but i know that there those things exist you know to be frank with you we need to be everywhere because I am the church. You are the church. You and your family, five people, three people, you're the church. Every dinner, every night at dinner, put a plate there. And you know what? Invite Jesus to come and eat with you, to be at your supper. Do I believe this? Yeah. Why? Because my mom taught me this. You know, my mom wasn't perfect, but she was a woman of faith, a woman of faith. And you know what? We never had a Bible opened in our house. And we thought we were taught watered down catechism when we were sent on Saturdays there to St. Mary's by ladies who didn't even know what they were talking about now that I've read the Torah and studied the different versions of the Bible. But let me tell you something. Just that little seed that gets planted in your children grows. The reason we're having all these deaths is a spiritual and it's a scientific reason. I believe in science. Believe me, I'm the first to believe in science. By the grace of God, in the name of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I give you glory, thanks, and praise, my Lord. I'm here by the grace of God because of science, because God gives us doctors who are learned to treat us, and they treated my aneurysms. In the name of Jesus, we smite that spirit. And I'm here not to be a consultant, but to bring people to Christ. And you know what? When you bring people to Christ, you get favor in your life. You get mercy. You get grace. A lot of you don't know what favor is. Don't know what mercy is. Don't know what grace is. You go to church. You don't know who Matthew, Paul, Luke, John, Sarah, Abraham, Rebecca, Tamar. You don't know who these people were. But you know what? I'm asking you as a humble favor. As a humble favor. Subscribe to my channel so you can know 
when to get together. Look, we need to get together. But we need to start off in private groups because of all the insanity, the evil insanity that's out there. So we do need to be proactive, active, but intelligently done so. I teach courses on the four IQs, the spiritual, financial, the physical, and the emotional IQ because you need them all. I teach you stuff. You know, well, my daughter said the what ifs of the world because nobody taught you what if this happens. Nobody's empowered us. You know, the teachers go... How much can a teacher really teach you? Let's get real here. They learn the curriculum. They learn how to, the concepts, the theories, and how to teach in the school of education. Then they get a teacher's manual with the answers. And there you go. I've spoken to many teachers, and don't call me a liar because I'll call you out on Facebook, who teach stuff that they don't even understand because they've called me to ask me for questions on math and things of that sort because of my finance background. I know teachers who don't know diddly squat, but they're teaching off of a teacher's manual with the answers to them. So you know what? And you have college professors who teach you what they've learned and they write these these theses and the dissertations. Yes, 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 they're, they're putting people out to work in professions. But how much do they practice? Look, man, I've been through the trenches. I've been to high school. I've been to college. I've been to et cetera, to advanced schools, you know, advanced studies or whatever you want to call it. But the hardest school I've been to is a hard knock school of life. I'm 66 years old, man. I come from the wrong side of the tracks. I just freaking do. Even though my parents weren't poverty stricken or none of that stuff and, you know, my dad raised cattle. My mom had her own thing going, her businesses and stuff. You know what, man? It wasn't easy. And, and you know what? I've gone into offices and even some of my associates. Last summer, one of my associates said to me, oh, no, Maria, but uh, I'm white and, and, I, and I get burned. You don't. You know, I left there, but I'll always remember that. The other day here, I live in a little decent neighborhood here, you know, where I'm the only Mexican-American. And... Uh, the lady says, I told her, let's get out of the sun. And I was saying it because of my brain clipped, my head overheats because of the hardware. And she said, why do you worry? Your kind of people don't get skin cancer. Well, you know what, for the record, my brother John had skin cancer. And, and you know what, but this is a white lady who isn't even as white or has beautiful eyes, as beautiful as my mom. But there's this division. We have to cross the borders, not just like with Selena, how she crossed over in a song or how these actors and actresses, we got to get past all of that Hollywood bullshit. You know what? And if this is a down and dirty, rough video, so be it because life is rough, down and dirty. But you know what? When I go speak in a crowd, we should all be comedians. I convert to that crowd, just like Paul says, if I'm with the poor, if I'm with the sick, if I'm with the high, if I'm with the mighty, if I'm with the lowly, I become that. So we have to learn to become that. We have to learn to be multicultural in everything we do, monocultural. We have to know things how to do, how to do things quantumly according to physics, where we don't do it by one, two, three, or four, or five. We've got to know how to duplicate ourselves. And I'm asking you here, learn. I'm going to put my phone number on the YouTube video, at the end of it, I'll put it there. I'm gonna ask you to reach out to me or else I'll put my email. And I can tell you this right now, for those of you who know me personally, you know, this is a special invitation to you. You know, if you know me through my grandchildren's boyfriends, man, you're my family because your son is part of my family. You know, and if you know me through my daughter's dance studio, if you know me through business, reach out to me. But you know what? It's time to stop the division. It really is. Because these dividing spirits are what allow. They say that when there's a trauma or pain or injury in a person's life, all these spirits come in. And then don't forget there's transmutation, which means transportation, which means this spirit can jump on you from somebody else. So while you're partying and drinking and smoking weed still at the age of 35 and 40 and trying to bring sexy back and at the age of 50, and there are some of you on Facebook, 60 and 70, trying to be all sexy, you keep in mind, what kind of genealogy are you living or leaving? What kind of nanny or grandma will you be remembered at? I've got friends who will say, oh, my grandma was a whore. 
where they'll say, oh, my grandma was a drunk or my grandma was in the bars or nah, my grandma, nah, I don't want to talk about her. Is that grandma's? Is that how you want to be remembered or mom's nowadays? You know what it is? Is men come through houses as revolving doors and the book says that in the Bible it says that. The people will become lovers of self, lovers of money, and men will enter weak women's homes. Look at what's happening in the homes. People are becoming immune to it. Do you think that the children that are hurt are immune to all of this? No. But you know, people try and hide it. And I'm talking to you right now who care about stopping all of this. Some people have posted on Facebook that they want to start homeschooling their kids. Well, I hope you got a good education so you can do it because it's hard teaching. Even teaching people as adults as a consultant. Let me tell you, and I teach a lot of highly educated people, and they still can't grasp a lot of concepts, much less if you barely made it out of high school, you know, with the no student left behind uh, thing that Bush put through. A lot of you guys can't even read and write, and I can attest to that. But you can all pray. And to pray, that means just to talk to God. Start talking to God and start talking to your children. And don't be embarrassed to talk to your children. You tell dirty jokes. You tell dirty stories. You act like fools. You allow people to act like fools. You have big old parties where a bunch of drunk people with missing teeth come over because they've done drugs or too many steroids. You know what? If you understand Spanish, ya agarren vergüenza, which means get some shame in English and grow up. Because we are all allowing this. And keep in mind, keep in mind when you see that somebody's a little off and you feel something unusual, report them. If you suspect something, call APS for the adults, Adult Protective Services for Children, Children Protective Services. By the third call, either one of those agencies will do something. Or go talk to the chief or the mayor of your city, reach out, start at the top and work down. But it's time to, to intervene because we can't stop this. Only the name of Jesus can. So in the name of Jesus, by the grace of God and the power of the Holy Spirit, God bless you all. And I hope that you will unite with me. Please reach out to me. I'm pleading with you, not just for myself, but for all of you guys so we can sleep better at night, shop better, and have a better world. Because this is a great world, and there is more good than bad. But of course, TV doesn't show that because they make money off of that. It's called the psychology of fear. So I don't leave you, but I ask you humbly again to please unite, contact me, so that we can intercede in this spiritual battle. In Jesus' name, amen.